How is it going everyone and Merry Christmas to everyone out there celebrating the holidays. Hope you guys are having a great day with your family, friends, whoever your loved ones may be. And I hope you guys got some awesome gifts as well. I know that I did because one of the awesome gifts I did receive is pretty much the premise of this video and why I'm even making it. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. And of course, before I get into the main thing, I kind of want to show you guys and recap the stuff that I got for Christmas. This is kind of uh, pretty much the wrestling related stuff that I got uh, for Christmas. Of course, right here, uh, we have the Marty Squirrel villain shirt um, from Hot Topic. This is like the baseball tee uh, stuff. Shirt, which I actually love these shirts. I actually love like any kind of like ringer shirts in general, but uh, like these long sleeve ones where it's not fully long sleeve, it's kind of like half long sleeve. Um, I've always been a huge fan of baseball shirts uh, growing up, and this is a very sick shirt right here of Mario Scroll. So very, very happy to have this shirt. Uh, we have WWE 2K18 on the Xbox One. I played a few matches on here already. Um, pretty fun. Um, um, I won't lie. Um, 2K17, I got bored pretty easily of uh, with that game. So hopefully, you know, it's not the case for this one. Like I said, I've, uh, I've been enjoying it so far already. So hopefully it's a good time. Uh, we got Bullet Club sweatpants right here. Of course, I have the Bullet Club logo on the uh, the pant leg, on the left pant leg, and that's pretty much it. That's the only thing uh, Bullet Club related on the sweats besides that. It's just pretty much normal sweats. Um, not really much to it. Uh, continuing to try the Bullet Club, we have Bullet Club socks um, right here. You have the Kenny Omega uh, Long Crew socks right here. Just one pair. Nothing really that special. Uh, then, of course, you have the um, five pair of socks right here of you know pretty much everyone in the Bullet Club. You have the Young Bucks. You have Marty Skrull. Come on, uh, you have Cody, and then you got Kenny Omega, because I'm actually wearing the regular Bull Club socks right now. So, um, these are pretty cool. I hope they make more of these in the future, so... These are pretty cool uh, Bull Club socks. And then we got some joke gifts, like these little wall hangers. I didn't even know these existed till today. Um, they're really, really weird uh, when you look at them. They're pretty much just a weird body with their face and, like, I don't know, sticky balls as hands and legs. They're... Really, really weird. They're called Superstar Wall Walkers. They're very, very weird. So I got Dolph Ziggler and Braun Strowman. Those are pretty much like joke st uh, stocking stuffer things. Speaking of joke gifts, we have um, these John Cena um, tap out sprays. Um, right here, you have the uh, Focus scented one, which actually doesn't smell that bad. It smells, you know, pretty much any kind of like any kind of like Axe spray. Honestly, I use this one, and it just smells like Axe spray. Honestly, and then of course you have these other three um, right here: uh, Defy, Victory, and Fuel. So. I don't know, I'll be trying these, but they'll probably smell the exact same. And then we have uh, two calendars. Of course, this calendar is a WWE calendar uh, for 2018. Um, this is pretty much um, a traditional gift I get. I've been getting a WWE calendar every year since like 2008, 2009. So um, this is pretty much, you know, a traditional thing I get. And I also got a Game of Thrones one, uh, which is really nice. I really like that picture right there of Jon Snow. He looks really badass before the Battle of the Bastards. Uh, so yeah, I have two calendars, so I'll definitely know uh, what the day is. And then I have Game of Thrones pint glasses right here. Uh, you have House Stark and House Targaryen. And then on the back of them, which is a selling point for me, you have Daenerys and Jon Snow. So those are really, really nice um, things right there. And I also got uh, the Razor Ramon and Braun Strowman pops. Um, those are really, really nice. I really want to get to chase uh, Razor Ramon with the Scott Hall look. So um, look, I'll be hoping to get that soon if I can find it. If not, I'll probably buy it online for like, you know, whatever. Uh, when the price goes down so those are pretty much like the undercard presents that i got and then we go to the main event which of course is the brock lesnar wrestlemania 33 commemorative signed plaque um, when these plaques came out originally uh, this is the main one i wanted you know all the other ones like aj styles dean ambrose seth rollins roman reigns they all look nice uh but you know they were all like you know plaques that to me they weren't must needed uh but this one and two other ones uh the hardy boys and the uh, thank you undertaker plaque which I wanted that one the most, but since it wasn't signed, uh, that was the reason why I didn't want to get it. So it was Brock Lesnar one, and you know, since it's signed by Brock Lesnar, it's not every day you get a signature from Brock Lesnar. I know I'll probably never meet him, which is why I was leaning more towards him because you know, like with the Hardy Boys, I'm hoping to meet them one day. And pretty much everyone else had signed plaques I've already met, or you know, I could probably meet you know very easily. So with Brock Lesnar, I knew there was no chance I'd probably ever had to meet him. So uh, that was a selling point for me on this plaque. I uh, believe my parents got it for pretty cheap because I actually sold them on this because um, when this first came out, I wanted to buy it. Uh, I was going to buy it for like 268 total, uh, but then I talked myself out of it. I'm like, that's way too much money. Don't do it. And then this went on sale, and there was a sale on top of the sale, and I believe like the, the, the final total price that came out for this was like 121 So, you know, when the plaque is 250 then it comes up to like 268 with like shipping and everything, and it gets lower down to like 121 ish around there. I know it's like the 120s, the, the final price with like shipping and everything. Um, that's an absolute steal. So I was originally going to buy this myself, but I was like, you know what? Let me tell my parents, because I, I literally had nothing uh, ideal-wise for Christmas. So I was like, hey, just can you guys get this for me? And obviously they did. 
So here's the WrestleMania uh, 33 plaque for Brock Lesnar. It's a very, very nice plaque. I'll take off the plastic and everything in just a moment. But you got a picture right there of him and Paul Heyman walking down the ramp. You got a nice picture of Goldberg with the pyro and everything with the Universal Championship. A nice picture of the Universal title right there. This is 134 of 500, so it's a pretty nice number right there. A uh, piece of the ring rope, as you usually get. Um, then you got the F5, the Goldberg right there. And of course, the setup of the F5. And then, of course, you have the uh, 10 suplexes that Brock Lesnar delivered during his match with Goldberg at WrestleMania. Of course, you have a nice picture right there of him and Goldberg, of course, pretty much from the WrestleMania poster. Uh, the ultimate thrill at WrestleMania, April 2nd, 2017, around Florida. Brock Lesnar defeats Goldberg for the Universal Championship. And, of course, there is Brock Lesnar in all his glory right there, signed with the Universal Championship. Um, it's a really nice-looking plaque. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take all the plastic out for you guys and pretty much give you the full view of it. Okay, and there is the plaque in all its glory once you removed everything. Um, they did a great job packing this um, in the box it was in. It was actually like bubble wrap three times, um, not to like the thick, like the, the the thin ones. It was like that the thick bubble wrap too. So um, they did a really nice job packing it. They even put you know bubble wrap on the sides, so when you took it out of the wrap, it was still like really, really you know protected. But this is a beautiful pack right here, uh, plaque. I um, really like the the red outlining uh, in the background for the universal title. Um, it just looks really really nice. You know, nothing on the back. It just has the hanger right there, uh, which you put on the wall. But, uh, yeah, this is a great plaque. This is my first plaque, too. So, this um, definitely has more meaning to me um, right now than, you know, I'd, I'd say it's one of my most prized possessions right now. It's because my first one. And just, you know, it was a great time at WrestleMania. And I really enjoyed this match at WrestleMania as well. So, um, that's pretty much the inside look at the Universal uh, the Universal title match at WrestleMania 33. The, the plaque for Brock Lesnar. Um, also showed you guys, you know, the gifts they got wrestling-related wise for Christmas. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the holidays. Hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas. Hope you guys celebrated it with your loved ones. Um, and, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like below. Until next time, I'll see you guys and thank you guys for watching the video.